With tears in her eyes, she said, every country deserves this. A future is the best gift we can give our kids. These were my wife's words when she was celebrating Singapore's National Day this year. This was her emotion after seeing less fortunate countries struggle with problems Singapore once had. The Singapore we know today wasn't always like this. Back in the 60s, there was racial tension that led to many deaths and hundreds of injuries. In the same period, Singapore became independent from Malaysia and had to decide its own fate. The economy wasn't stable, no natural resources, and many people had no jobs, housing, or formal education. Without solving these problems, it is more difficult for a nation to progress. So, how did Singapore do it? Education. Singapore focused on making an educated nation. 20% of the country's budget is spent on education. This is to keep it universal, practical, and relevant to the market needs. English was made the official language for teaching to suit children from all races. Mother tongue was still preserved and taught in schools. Primary education was made compulsory, and by this year, 97.5% of Singaporeans are educated. Education, education, it can't be stressed enough. An educated nation can communicate, socialize, and make better choices for themselves and their country. Housing. To solve the housing problem, the government launched a public housing program. Housing is generally expensive in Singapore due to the lack of land. However, with government subsidy and payment options, majority of Singaporeans can afford to own a shelter. Housing system also forced people of different races to live together. We are Singaporean Arabs, our neighbors are Chinese, Malay, and Indians. New economy. Upon independence, Singapore put together a plan to become a center for manufacturing and service industry. Government built industrial states to make it a center for businesses. The service industry grew and attracted other investments that made the economy stronger and created more jobs for the people. Singapore today is home to one of the largest and busiest shipping ports in the world. It is the fourth richest country despite its small size and lack of resources. If you think your country is poor because you have no resources, remember Singapore. If you think your country is unstable because you have different ethnic and religious groups, remember Singapore. If there is one thing we can learn from Singapore, it is that the most valuable natural resource for a country is its people. God bless.